Hi guys, Gamish the Hedgehog here, and today I'll be reviewing the Pokemon Black and White McDonald's toys. These are from the first Black and White series, and you would get Pikachu, Snipey, Tippic, Oshawa, Axew, Zora, Zorark, Reshram, and Zekrom. So, these are all of them. And of course, they would also come with cards, I think. I think they came with cards. Let's first have a look at Pikachu. And his action is that you can turn on this little switch on the bottom. And he would light up. But I don't think this one does anymore. So that's unfortunate. Oh wait! Here we go! There! We press, we press this little button here which is his tail. He lights up. Pretty sweet. Now the detail on this figure isn't, you know, something to gawk at because it's, uh, it's a Happy Meal toy. It's nothing too special. But he does have, you know, little cheeks here that are kind of see-through because of the light. And he has no articulation, so that's the little figure. And here is Snivy. Looks like one of those chickens that go like that, but it's like a pullback, I think. Oh no wait, you just rolled across the floor, and then you, uh, yeah, that's what you do. And again, the detail on this figure it's nothing to gawk at either, but I wouldn't say it's something to be sp uh, spat at, you know, you know, nothing to, you know, poke fun at, really. So I'm trying to get out here, can't use words today. Here's the back, has its marijuana leaf, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't think it's marijuana. It looks like that. And of course the little screws are shown here because it's to keep the figure intact. Here's Tepic. I think Tepic also lights up. Uh, I think that's something to do with his legs. Here we go. Press for you press his feet forward, and the tail lights up. Kind of like Pikachu, I guess. But anyway, Tepig is going to do flame charge, I think, or something like that. But either way, what I have to say about all the detail on these figures is that there's nothing really missing on these figures. It's just that they're kind of, you know, cheaply painted a little bit. Here's Oshawa, just like little bobblehead. Nothing too special really, unless you like bobbleheads. I almost, did I say bobbleheads? Bobbleheads. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's the back. If you want a more detailed figure, get the Jack specific figures. And also if you want you can kind of twist the feet around a little bit like this. But, I don't think that's what you would like to do. Here's Axio. You press this button on his back and you can move his head. He's not possessed, I'm controlling him. Look both ways before crossing the street. He's actually got some articulation. You can move his hands or arms up and down. And like I said, this is switch on his back, which makes him twist his head. You can twist his head manually, but I I would recommend not doing that because, well, it just might break. And here is Zora. All these belong to my cousin, Pokemon Mori, except for Zora. She didn't give me Zora for some reason. I think that she likes Zora. I have mine still. So this is mine right here. You can... He's... He leaps, I think. You push... Please ignore that mess. Oh, well, 
that went well. <laughs> I think if you set him on a table or something, he would do a leap or something. But it's not that well, trust me. I did it um, when I was at McDonald's. It didn't work so well. But it's still a nice little figure. I used him in Secret World, you know, the movie trilogy I made. But anyway, this guy is not a bad figure for, you know, McDonald's toy. It's not bad. And here's his evolved form, Zorark. He's got some articulation going on. He could twist his waist. Almost, like, all the way around if you wanted. Can move his arms up and down. And the detail on this figure isn't bad, but it's not something super special. But you know, it's a McDonald's toy. What do you expect? Here's Zekrom. Now be very careful with these wings here. They're super flimsy. Because, well, mine kind of met his demise and the wing is bent all the way down. It's, it's painful to see. It's painful to look at. He's got some articulation here. You can move his arms or hands rather well, arms like this. Uh, it kind of twists this tail. I don't know. I don't think you can. Detail in this figure again is not super cool. Okay, it's not bad. And also, the plastic on his arms and his wings feel different compared to the other plastic that makes the rest of his body. He's actually got some eye detail there going, which is really nice. And last but not least, Rush <laughs> Yeah, wings can come off. So that's just a little something there. You can twist his head. Um, kind of twist his tail. Can move his legs. I thought there was like a button where you can make his wings do some kind of action, but I don't know where that is. What is it, this? Nope, guess not. Would have been an interesting little idea. But I guess I'm thinking of that Spyro figure, but anyway, the detail on this figure, again, isn't super good. Well, okay, it's great for a McDonald's figure. The eyes on this toy are relatively nice, just like Zekrom, and all the other Pokemon as well. They really stood true to the detail on these Pokemon, which is really nice. And if you want a closer detail on the Ween, here you go. And like I said, they come off, as you can see, in this video. But those are the black and white McDonald's toys, or Pokemon black and white McDonald's toys, to be more specific. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to leave in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. As always, thank you for watching, God bless, and stay tuned for more.